Given the equation negative x squared plus 3x plus 4, we will be finding six different key elements to this equation. First, we have to find the zeros. To find the zeros, you have to set your x squared, negative x squared plus 3x plus 4 equation equal to zero. You can either do that by looking to see if there's any common terms or like terms that you can pull out. In this case, there isn't any, so you have to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is the opposite of b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a. When you plug that into this equation, you get negative 3 plus minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 4 divided by 2 times negative 1. And that condenses, in, condenses into negative 3 plus minus the square root of 9 minus negative 16 divided by negative 2. When you simplify all this out, you get negative 3 plus minus 5 divided by negative 2. Now what you have to do is you have to break this into 2 since you have that plus minus. So it will be negative 3 plus 5 divided by negative 2 and negative 3 minus 5 divided by 2. When you do negative 3 plus 5 divided by negative 2, you get negative 1. When you do negative 3 minus 5 divided by negative 2, you get 4. So that means your zeros are at x equals negative 1 and x equals 4. These are your points that lie on the x-axis. Next, we find the critical points. To do that, you take your original equation and you derive it once. When you derive it, you find that you get negative 2x plus 3. With this equation to find your critical points, all you do is set it equal to 0. When you set it equal to 0, you find that you get x equals 3 halves. This is your critical point. <coughs> Next, we have to find the relative extremum. To do that, I took my critical point and I plugged it in to the derived, the first derived equation, which was negative 2x plus 3. When I did that, I got 6.25. Since there was only one critical point, we have to take another point that was around there and test it to figure out if this point is our minimum or our maximum. I plugged in 0. When I plugged in 0, I got... 3, and 3 is positive, so that means this graph would be our maximum. So that means that this point is our maximum. So you have a maximum at 3 halves, comma, 6.25, and there is no minimum. Another way you can do that is, with this equation, you can tell that it's going to be a parabola. And since the first term is negative, that means the parabola is going to be flipped, so it'll be upside down. So the top of your parabola will be your maximum since it's upside down because it's negative and it wants to go towards negative numbers. Next we have to find increasing and decreasing intervals. With that, you take your critical point and you make a sign line. When you make your sign line, you put your critical point on the sign line and you test a point on the left and you test a point on the right. When I tested my point, on the left, I got positive. So that means that from negative infinity to 3 halves, my graph is increasing. On the right side, when I tested a point, I got a negative number. So that means from 3 halves to infinity, your graph is decreasing. Those are your increasing and decreasing intervals. Next, we have to find the inflection point. To find the inflection point, you take your first derived equation, which is negative 2x plus 3, and you derive it again. When you derive it again, you find that you get negative 2 equal is your second derivative. To find your inflection point, you have to set that equal to 0. Well, since there's no x in this, negative 2 will never equal 0, so you have no inflection points. Next, you need to find concave up and concave down. Since you do not have any inflection points, because negative 2 will never equal 0, I looked at the, answer, at the second derivative that we got, and it was negative 2. And since it was negative, I knew that this graph was concave down from negative infinity to infinity, because the number was negative, so that means it's going down. And it's not going up, so there is no concave.